Hi everyone, this is Halak again, and welcome to an, another Java tutorial session. Uh, from my last uh, uh, tutorial, uh, we converted our... Um, we actually changed the, the types from, for example, government license, government card type for driver's license to payable. Now, I actually went back and saw that I made one little uh, mistake here, and it had to do with setting the number of years, uh, and I didn't do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add in here, and I apologize for my mistake from my other video, um, and I'll just say uh, you've requested your license to be renewed. Another it's getting off my screen, so I'm just gonna do it for another uh, nine years. Okay, so there. Yeah. So we format it, and now I need to set this. Okay, so uh, basically, it's going to be the same thing I need to cast. Okay. This is a good segue into what I want to talk about next, actually. So set and then years, and then uh, remember, because we didn't it it defaulted to two hundred because num years because I didn't initialize it as you see the printout here um, to two hundred, right? So let, let's just initialize it to two years, and we'll do a printout again. We run the program again. Let us see. What happened there? Set none years. Oh, the, yeah, I have to move this up. This might save a mistake. There. Before I actually print anything. Okay. Um, there we go. I may have actually moved it up too far. Okay. There's license. Okay, you request your license to be renewed for two years, right? Okay, let's make this a little nicer for two years. Okay. So you owe eighty dollars for your license application, yeah, and your the hydro bill is the same. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, you said that you know this leads into a good segue because this is this looks pretty. I mean, how do you know what type of object it is, right? Um, you know, like it's payable, but you know. Um, so driver's license card here is a type of payable, but we have to do all these casting. Now, a way to do this is actually to use the instance of operator. So if I go driver, the driver's license instance of, right? so if it's an instance of driver license right, card. All right. So now we do that. Okay. We move it all the way up into here. Okay. Get rid of that and reformat. Okay, now at least we know that if we, if driver's license is an instance of driver's license card, then we can do the cast in here. Okay, um, so we know. So uh, in our program, we can actually have a condition to detect that, right? So because, uh, you know, it could, because remember, we have hydro is also a type, right? So for example, um, you can move everything in here. All right. So what if I do this? Do that, and then say else, right? Because if I have multiple type, I can, I can actually do this, right? Okay, so there. All right. So if I have say, if payable is implemented by implemented by multiple types, uh, we want we need to check to make sure how we can downcast or up, how we can downcast our object. Um, we can do this. Okay. Now, uh, going back to here earlier, I've actually implemented the payable interface in driver's license card. Okay, I mean, I could have just as easily done this, right? Um, so I can say implement um, payable, right? So if I do that, right? Okay. Now, 
here, in here, you notice that just because I implemented, because it's abstract, okay, I don't need to mention the fact that I need to implement uh, compute. Okay, I don't need to implement compute payable amount because this is abstract, right? However, any concrete class needs to override, okay, override this compute payable amount method, right? Because if you don't, okay, so you notice that here I didn't implement this, right? Because uh, I didn't implement this, it will complain because uh, SIN card extends government and government, okay, uh, implements. Okay, so it, it says that any concrete class needs to implement everything, right? All the all, all the abstract methods. Okay, so um, so if I do you know like implement methods, okay, so if I do that, okay, so now it goes away, right? Notice that I don't even need the implements keyword, okay, so I, I can remove this. Okay, so it's fine. Okay, it's still a type. But payable, see that not see everything is fine. Okay, the, the only reason why I did it in driver's license card is is because um, it makes sense. Okay, uh, when you're paying, when you're applying for a driver's license and you renew your card, for example, um, you need to pay an amount. Uh, the last time, I can't recall the time um, where I had to pay for a SIM card. Okay, uh, to renew that, so that there's no a uh, payable amount. So in a sense, this this doesn't make sense, right? It's better to do it this way, and to implement right the way we had it before. Okay, so this makes more sense. Okay, and then now we have to just get rid of this. All right. Okay, so that's uh, that's uh, another example of. Um, of how to use implements, and of course you can you can actually implement multiple interfaces. Okay, so you have more interfaces. Um, so for example, you have uh, we have um, yet another interface, right? Just for illustration purposes, right? Um, payable. Um, I don't know what other uh, interface. So this is just an example. I'm just gonna call it example. <laughs> That's silly, All right? So an example, um, you know, I can say uh, public, right? Again, abstract. You don't really need to mention that because it's implicit. But I can say void uh, do something, right? <laughs> okay. So here's another interface, and you can actually implement more. Right, you just need to separate it by um, commas. Oops, no exception. Example. Okay, and then here you just need to do the implementation. Right, you implement. Right. Okay, so you can do that. Right now, the, the thing is that you can only you can have multiple int implements here. Right, um, you can implement multiple in interfaces, but you cannot. Uh, multiple, uh, you can't extend multiple class, okay? Because Java is single inheritance, and if you try to do that, uh, it will return an, as a mistake, okay? Um, a compilation error will occur, okay? So um, there you go, and uh, again, uh, th another new concept introduces this instance of operator, okay? Um, so Thank you for watching and see you in my next video tutorial. Take care.